today the role and the efficacy and significance and and uh, depression therapy in uh, the treating of uh, advanced uh, uh, prostate cancer and uh, we have several possibilities now uh, now starting from surgical castration and up to anti androgens of the second line it should be noted that with the appearance of the drugs it is clear that they have medic uh, therapeutic action but they also have some side effects related to them and unfortunately even now when the life quality is paid great attention to among the patients who receive a certain therapy the significance of anti deprivation therapy in patients with prostate cancer is uh, sometimes given without studying the medical history of concomitant diseases that results in severe complications. Uh, speaking about androgens and their toxic impact, to impact today, it is known that first they result at uh, uh, obesity, hyperlipidemia, insulin resistance, metabolic syndrome, acute uh, renal insufficiency, hypercoagulation, atherosclerosis, besides anti-aggregation therapy results in the level, uh, reducing level of testosterone, uh, such uh, impairing the protective effect of androgens in the organ stability of atherosclerotic uh, uh, situation, high coronary uh, blood flow, low level of uh, uh, testosterone uh, might result in uh, destabilization and uh, decrease of uh, blood flow. As the obesity, obesity of the patients who receive uh, anti deprivation therapy is sarcopenic replacement of uh, fatty tissue in the data that were presented by several trials when CT was given transverse section of the muscles reduced in patients who long received anti-deprivation therapy. The subcutaneous fat increases, the weight increases to two or three uh, kilos in case of long-term therapy. Uh, most of these are men uh, below 65. Besides, the muscle mass decreases uh, in stable walking, uh, so uh, the uh, falls increase uh, twofold. This lipidemia is also recorded, which is clearly correlated in terms of duration of anti-deprivation therapy that shows us in the growth of total cholesterol. And the growth of triglycerides of low and high density. Patients who receive anti-deprivation therapy uh, have a risk of developing diabetes uh, mellitus so that is uh, twofold versus the patients who don't receive such therapy. There is a low sensitivity to insulin, high level of insulin in blood in three months after the onset of therapy. The therapy is also related to boost metabolism uh, practically in patients who for a long uh, period of time have these uh, drugs. Uh, osteoporosis develops and uh, the growth of the uh, number of fractures is about 20% uh, versus 12% in the control group of patients. Thus, the disturbance of metabolism of lipids and carbohydrates uh, result uh, in obesity, metabolic syndrome, diabetes mellitus that increases cardiological risks. Along with that, disturbance of metabolism of muscles and bones results in high frequency of osteoporosis, uh, falls, uh, fractures, and weakness in patients, increases that affects the quality of life. Besides, there are data that long-term use of anti-deprivation therapy results in fibrosis of the renal tissue, and uh, there might be an acute disturbance of renal tissue. Low level testosterone increases the risk of atherosclerosis uh, due to high thickness of carotid arteries and uh, growth of virgins and uh, serum. All the patients' anti-deprivation therapy have a lower cognitive function and different erectile dysfunctions. Thus, ADT, uh, today, 
results in metabolic syndrome, which directly increases uh, cardiological risk in patients who receive ADT, uh, particularly for a long-term period of time. Uh, speaking about cardiotoxicity, it should be said that a great number of trials, observations, and retrospective studies have shown that anti-deprivation therapy essentially increases the risks of cardiovascular complications in patients who take these drugs for a long period of time. Besides, it was determined that in patients who in the medical history had two or more cases of cardiovascular system diseases, uh, within the first six months, the risk of having serious complications associated with uh, life uh, is high. Thus, the approaches uh, to administering ADT should be quite careful. If we look at the group of drugs which we use uh, for ADT, first of all, we used antiandrogens of the first line, steroid, non-steroid, and the complications which they cause, gynecomastia, diarrhea, hypotoxicity, flushes, reduction of sexual function. Uh, hepatotoxicity is one of the most significant complications because anti-antigen-related hepatitis result in this uh, discontinuation of the therapy and long-term rehabilitation period. Uh, Gynecomastia uh, can be dissolved by 10 gray uh, radiotherapy or tamoxifil. So uh, speaking about uh, hepatotoxicity among this uh, group of uh, drugs, special uh, say that flutinate uh, is quite negative from that period of view. As to perilate and period during which hepatitis might occur, the maximum that, uh, is that of ciprotron. As, as to rehabilitation, practically, it is comparable in all the drugs of that group. Nevertheless, cardiotoxicity in, uh, uh, is maximal, and according to the uh, study, uh, in 10% of patients, there was the accumulation of uh, liquor, ECG thromboembolian in 3.6% uh, of patients, uh, the complications entailed death. Uh, another group of drugs broadly used here are agonists and uh, antagonists of gonotropin resin hormones. I will not speak in details about that, but it's necessary to say that uh, the mechanism of the impact of those drugs is that when uh, agonists are uh, uptaken before suppression of uh, uh, testosterone, first of follicles, ten, uh, uh, testosterone hormone elevation, which unlike agonisms, when antagonists are uh, given, uh, they immediately uh, suppress follicle-stimulating uh, luteinizing hormones and testosterone, which is quite positive and speaks in favor of Doverlix as to the side effect uh, complications in patients on the whole for this group of uh, uh, drugs. Uh, there are influxes, algesic uh, syndrome, uh, uh, testicular atrophy, but unlike antagonists for Derlix, uh, which is antagonism, uh, there is erythema in the face of a puncture, inflammation, elevation of temperature, pain, which sometimes negatively impacts the uh, recruiting and screening for patients for this medical drug. As to cardiotoxicity of those medical drugs, it's necessary to mention that uh, in some of the randomized clinical trials, uh, the incidence of toxicity was comparable to uh, in among tendrogens and antigens, uh, agonists and antagonists to uh, androgen. As regards these studies and trials uh, done by Albert Atrioli, who uh, made retrospective analysis of six clinical trials to compare cardiotoxicity of agonists and antagonists. This uh, study showed that antagonists reduce muscular or sick uh, uh, 
and morbidity is a cardiovascular disease risk in the total group and in the group with the past medical history of cardiovascular complications reduces new cardiovascular complications vis-a-vis -vis the group with agonist therapy as to this uh, uh, table taken from Farrell's uh, paper it shows that relative risks of cardiovascular disease, uh, according to the data of randomized, randomized trial, were comparable between agonists and antagonists as to the uh, males who participated uh, in observational uh, trials. It, it shows the predominance of agonists when it uh, comes to the uh, cardiotoxicity. This is due to the fact that it's not always when patients with severe concomitant pathologies are included into the clinical trials, and not always cardio control point is the cardiotoxicity of the medical drug, in not in all the cases. And for the patients included into uh, phase three trials, uh, some of those patients had much less say, uh, prevalence of cardiovascular disease complications versus uh, another group of the same age. Uh, we expect uh, the results of pronounced uh, trial, which will make a final decision as to whether these antagonisms of the tenants, algae, uh, have got uh, advantages vis-a-vis -vis agonists. Uh, to my way of thinking, the appearance of new antagonists, Rolex, uh, which yet is not registered in our country, and uh, it's under study. Once again, uh, this shows that this group of medical drugs, which will be extended in the nearest future, has got minimal cardiotoxicity. Harrow uh, study shows that Revolux has got minimal cardiotoxicity vis a vis liprolide, re liprolide against total group and a group of patients with cardiovascular disease and their past medical history. Uh, as to the further studies of pontogenesis of uh, androgens uh, entailed the appearance of new group of uh, drugs. Uh, this is second line entry, 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 androgens, uh, preloads, David, which have got uh, absolutely different mechanisms of their impact. Uh, which explains those side effects which evolve when they are indicated. For example, albuterol, which is the inhibitor of cytokinase P440, entails the situation that when it's uh, uh, given, it's a very high level, it's elevated level metal corticoids in blood, and prednisolone introduction only partially reduces the complications which evolve again the backdrop of very high level metal corticoids. There are publications available nowadays that now there is another form of berterone created which has got lower toxicity. We'll expect when it comes along to the market officially. As to isotermate, it's the inhibitor of other receptions with high affinity, higher than serine, and it prevents translocation of androgen receptors to the nucleus of the cell, which complications could be there. Iberaterone, uh, due to high concentration of metal corticoids, uh, uh, entails hypertension, edema, cardiotoxicity, heterotoxicity, hypokalemia, uh, and its toxicity on the whole is much higher than an insulatamide. Nonetheless, Abiraterone is indicated for patients with seizures in the past medical history because anzalutamide can increase the uh, frequency of seizures. And anzalutamide is indicated for patients uh, uh, for which there are counterindications for uh, steroids. Uh, several clinical trials of patients with uh, Abiraterone and enzalutamide in first and second line show that hypertension prevalence uh, is observed 
in both groups, so uh, group with Aboriginal and group with Absolute Min. But at the same time, as to the prevalence of uh, cardiac disease, Absolute Min is comparable when it comes to the frequency of uh, uh, cardiac disease. Uh, so we control group, but Aboriturone shows very high exceedance of those indicators versus the controls. Another clinical trial, there are three another clinical trials which demonstrate the efficacy. Uh, they gain uh, an advantage of azolutamide when it comes to toxicity vis-a-vis -vis abertron, and also these trials show that abertron is more toxic uh, versus anti-inflammation uh, therapy, and also it was. Uh, established that in patients with who had in the past medical history three or more uh, cardiovascular uh, complications, indication of abertromon and azolotamine like uh, wise increases the frequency of mortality and reduces the uh, survival rate. In the end of my presentation, I would like to show this slide. This is the abbreviation which makes it easier to memorize those guidelines, uh, those recommendations we should indicate for patients on this therapy. First of all, we should discuss with the patients that they should be very cautious when there are symptoms on behalf of cardiovascular system. Uh, they should receive aspirin. There should be control of blood pressure. It should be below 140 by 90 uh, creatinine patients with perilipidemia and cardiovascular disease. They should stop smoking. They should eat a lot of fruit uh, and uh, control glucose and blood. If there is diabetes, entrumine should be used. And uh, recently, patients of oncological profile are in the focus of uh, patient uh, uh, exercise should be 150 minutes uh, per week or 75 minutes a day when it's uh, uh, intensive uh, exercise. So this kind of therapy alongside with uh, curative treatment has got some toxicity. There could be obesity, hypertension if there is dyslipidemia and diabetes mellitus. Hypertension increases the cardiovascular uh, risk. And and the most uh, the, uh, grave uh, complications are cardiovascular disease. Uh, this selection for drugs should be done with taking into account the past medical history and toxicity levels of different medical drugs. Thank you.